वेलकम टू सुब्रमणी आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट टू थिंग्स विच फोर्स टू डू थिंग्स विच वी नो इज रॉन्ग फॉर अस टू डू द टू थिंग्स विच हार्म अस मोस्ट इन आवर इन्वेस्टमेंट्स इज फियर एंड द एंडोमेंट इफेक्ट फियर आई विल डू सेपरेटली एंड दिस आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दिस एंडोमेंट इफेक्ट there must be some solid reason why people stay on with loss making investments but it is not so difficult to understand if you understand a little bit of human psychology why do women stay on in relationships which are abusive or children stay on in relationships with their abusive uh, which is a abusive parent far beyond their need to stay for example at 17 18 a kid could leave the house a woman could uh, fight for a divorce but it takes a very long time to come out of it now that is exactly how people suffer even while investing if you have something you value it a lot more than uh, if you did not have it so let's take an example which was conducted in us where uh, people were asked uh, how much they would pay for uh, reclining their seats in a aircraft right so it was made negotiable whether you could uh, recline your seats and how much the f- uh, guy in the front would allow you to stretch your legs right so which you already had so the price difference was huge it was between $12 and uh, so $39 $40 uh, i don't remember the exact figure now that is something which you already have so you, you may f- uh, spend a whole flight uh, without uh, remembering to recline uh and uh, well if you had to pay 12 dollars for it let us say indian equivalent of 300 rupees or 350 rupees uh for reclining your chair uh, would you recline it in a, a commercial aircraft in which you're flying over a 2 to 2 and a half hour uh, distance i doubt whether you will I mean, of course if you're very tall then it's a different thing but normally people below 5 6 uh, which is average indian height Uh, may not recline uh, their uh, chairs at all now look at people with portfolios built in the 70s and still holding or maybe even 80s and still holding uh, most of us would have got the nestle colgate png siemens cummins at uh, 10 rupees uh, value and it has given uh, absolutely vulgar uh, returns uh, in terms of uh, dividends and in terms of appreciation right so would you, would that person be willing to sell let's say whether will he be able to sell off uh, a gillet today maybe bought it 50 rupees and it is 5000 rupees today will he be willing to sell it the answer is extremely unlikely now take the case when uh, gillet was at 2500 if you had gone and told him that uh, after 2 years uh, i will buy it from you at 5000 would he have sold it to you it's still doubtful doubling in 2 years is 36% return right would you have sold it doubtful because when you own something you value it a lot there is enough research especially in the us saying people value kitchen appliances more after they buy them than they would have before they bought them right so such dramatic effect on shares that you own and such dramatic effect even on shares which are making a loss because you don't want to accept to yourself that you have made a loss right you are not making the loss when you are selling you are only acknowledging that you have made the loss you made the loss long back you made the loss when you bought it and the share price fell it is not worth the price that you paid for it is what the market is trying to tell you for example if you bought uh, say gmr infra at 70 rupees today it is worth perhaps 20 rupees i am i'm not sure about the correct price or 25 rupees you will tell yourself that now infra is low this is not the time to sell etc 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 and you will not sell but the opportunity cost of selling gmr infra and buying a cummins or a siemens or a isab or any, any of those shares is huge but you will not do it you will wait you will say no no gmr infra will do well it is a uh, etc 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 they've got bombay airport they've got delhi airport some nonsense and you will not sell off the share you will convince yourself that it has been a good buy similarly you will convince yourself that nestle pe cannot change hindustan liver pe cannot change you bought it at 10 rupees right and then you could to call the bonuses you to call the dividends can you afford to sell the share yes 
बट वी हैव गॉट इनटू दिस ट्रैप दैट एफएमसीजी इन इंडिया डिजर्व्स अ पी ऑफ सिक्सटी और सम नॉनसेंस लाइक दैट डज इट रियली डिजर्व आई डोंट नो वेदर दैट प्राइजिंग पावर विल स्टे आई डोंट नो वेदर दीज कंपनीज कैन ग्रो एट अ पेस ऑफ थर्टी परसेंट पर एन एम आई मीन वी आर ऑल श्योर दैट दे कांट वी नो दैट वन डे द पी ई विल चेंज राइट इज इट पॉसिबल दैट सम म्यूचुअल फंड लॉन्च स्कीम सेंग वी विल बाय ऑल द पेरेंट कंपनीज इन द ऑफ द वर्ल्ड विल बाय द नेस्ले कोलगेट यूनिलीवर and uh, you can invest in that fund i think it's a good idea would we still sell off our own nestle unilever and colgate and buy that fund extremely doubtful that powerful endowment effect we know what is the endowment effect we know we should not fall uh, victim to it but we still do fall right let me quote some authorities and uh, research obviously all the research comes from uh, us so the uh, reclining air reclining uh, research also came from the us so let i wanted to just give you one quote and uh, right so the question to ask is uh, if i don't if i didn't own this stock if i didn't own this bond will i buy it now the answer is if the answer is yes you should buy it if the answer is no you should sell it this is very very difficult but i see a lot of successful investors being able to do that right so that is something which uh, okay let me quote from uh, warren buffett the great uh, go to guy for all these quotes is uh, warren buffett uh, said this in his 1996 annual letter if you are not willing to invest in a share for 10 years don't invest even for 10 minutes don't try all this tactical i'll get in in january i'll get out in february kind of thing so he is very clear about that uh, and in uh, he also said in his 1998 letter we made major purchases of federal home loan uh, that is freddy mac and coca cola we expected to hold these securities for a long time uh, in fact uh, for companies which we normally hold which is uh, uh, portions of outstanding business and outstanding management so our uh, view is we will hold it forever yet in 19 in 2000 he sold freddy mac and at that time what he said makes a lot of sense and that is a great learning for most of us we try therefore to keep our estimates conservative and to focus on industries where business surprises are unlikely to wreak havoc on the owners even so we make many mistakes and i am the fellow remember who thought he understood the future economics of trading stamps textile shoes and second tier department stores but they sold uh, freddy mac and he said when you sell you should be refining how you invest and improving your ability to make better decisions as a result your portfolio should improve so your portfolio has to be dynamic there is no doubt about that but it is also possible that uh, Uh, the other way to look at it is to say i when i don't sell i am actually buying also you should try to use the word switch rather than the word sell because you think uh, let's say i sell uh, nestle worth 5 lakhs today i think oh my god that money is going to get wasted it is going to rot in my savings account or my current account and uh, why should i sell that is not true because i'll sell uh, nestle and maybe buy an indigo or maybe sell a nestle and buy some apollo hospital right i would do something else i'm switching i am not selling so maybe you should change the language in which you think maybe you should change the language which you use when you're talking to yourself and you should also look at creating a concentrated portfolio because you cannot buy a concentrated portfolio you will have a longish portfolio but if you have let's say 100 just a number uh, then sell the 100 share because you you don't have the conviction in the 100 share as much as you have in your first share so make the list not alphabetically but in terms of conviction and sell the last share i think that's the greatest way to get rid of that last share if you are convinced that that share worth worth buying for suppose you are convinced that bharti is worth buying and bharti is uh, not your first choice then buy more of bharti and sell uh, maybe an indigo or maybe sell an apollo hospital whatever right so whatever you want to do uh, make sure that you break your ideas into three four boxes and get rid of boxes in which you don't have faith and or you are overdone let's say you have too much of fmcg or you have too much of any banking 
get rid of something and do this but remember the endowment effect every day and ask yourself this question if i didn't have it will i buy it now if the answer is no sell it thank you